how she is nice. Who's she taught you this? Who's uh, taught you this? This was my only solution. Yeah. Because uh, everything else was... I didn't want to cheat her. So this yes, was but my solution. Can you imagine that all of these moments is made and uh, encouraged by you? Uh, if I want to play with the dog like this, I will do exactly what you... I want to be able to play with her like this and to run. Uh, but I don't want, I want her to run next to me, around me, or, uh, you know. Okay, let, let's try a kind of free running over here. Oh, okay. Tada! I'm off. So, <laughs> do you like do you like to play with her? Yes, uh, I would so. like to be able because she is with me for two weeks. Before that, oh, okay, she's she with was, you for two weeks. Yes, before that, she was uh, all the time in the apartment, yeah, peeping, pooping in the apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, she was not running. Uh, she never saw metro, dog park, uh, even the grass. She was never off the leash. And with me, she, in those two weeks, she stopped uh, pooping and peeping in the apartment. Good. Good. She was uh, biting her nails successfully. Uh, now, no. And this came up after four days when she came to me. Okay. You are uh, getting her excited with your attitude, with your... Um, with your playing movement, you know, if yes. you want to to associate this in a different form, you need to have her in the leash to do the same, but to hold her to limit her um, access to you, okay? And in this way, you're gonna condition her in a different way, okay? Well, I have to tell you. Otherwise, that. she just understand that you are playing this is a playing movement she would play exactly like this with another dog running around that's the thing she's not biting other dogs and uh, we try with that's uh, good my that's good but, but not, uh, the way of uh, their communication is a tactile one okay. so in the um, in the playing modes they use paws teeth body but when and we are so at home and we are playing at home, mm -hmm. she is biting, but yes, fully course. controlled by fully controlled. She do this outside. She don't worry. Don't worry. And she bites me to the point that I cannot take it anymore. Did you ever thought how to do uh, a different thing to control her? Yes, I thought I googled. Uh, I mean. So what? What the Google uh, said? Well, the YouTube said that you have to stop the play. Yeah. And do nothing. I tried that, but she's biting even worse, so she's not counting mm -hmm. down. Because she's provoking you, of course, to move, to move again. Yes, but I don't. On the other hand, I don't want her to be like super obedient, to calm. I want her to be puppy and to yes, jump around. She and... has to know exactly some signals that this is playing this is uh, running this is uh, calming so let's uh, try something else okay i'm gonna give you a, a collar okay because this leash yes yes harness this is the leash harness is nothing i know <laughs> <laughs> the 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 first thing you you need to um, control her is to use a collar why color? Can you say me? Yes, I know that uh, it's a better communication, uh, but uh, I feel 
This is the first time I have such a small dog and she is so gentle. When I put the collar, I feel like I'm gonna break her neck. Yes, but I it's not. Dog with big dogs. It is not the case. You know, these species, when they, um, they uh, meet some individuals and need to confront each other, look at this. Oops. Because he's in the lie down position, for the other dog, lie down means, okay, I, um, she doesn't respond, I don't go further. Mm -hmm. So, I will keep walking away. So, the color is important because your need is exactly to control this part of the uh, of I the body to, to bring uh, i have a few uh, colors no, i'm gonna give you a color okay and you're gonna try exactly the same with a color in the leash mm -hmm. to change the um, conditioning okay let's try it wait <laughs> So, the thing is that your dog is sensitive to your movement, okay? You need to desensitize your dog, or you, you'll see, or you, as a distraction, visual distraction in movements, you need to be annulated by a different stimulus, like this tactile stimulus, okay? Using color, you're gonna use a tactile stimulus that control her head. Controlling her head, you control the visual and control the bite, okay, or the nose. So you need to, to use a color. To desensitize your dog to this movement, you need to use treats for the moment, okay, and then to use the same movements but with her paying attention to something else like treats okay so let's see we move like this we move like this until she's trying to jump on me i'm gonna give her a treat okay so i'm doing like this but the attention is on the treat you see so coming to take the treat okay Coming to the treat, I'm changing the conditioning, okay? You need to have the treat, she likes the treat, she's paying very full attention with the treat, use it in the running uh, mode, okay? comes in the hunting instinct mode <laughs> if she goes on a hunting instinct mode you can make her to be in a hunting instinct mode hunting chasing the treat not you okay mm -hmm. but in the same time your movement will be associated with following or chasing the treat and anticipating that she will earn the treat chasing it okay in this case you can run she will pay attention to you in running but waiting for the treat this is one situation the same the next situation without the treat is to use the leash okay to use the leash so Use the leash to 
redirect her head. Okay? Can you do it? I Let's can try. Try. Short leash. Short leash. Yes. Short leash. Hands up. Yes. Short leash. That's it. That's it. Short leash. So slow down and walk. Slow down and walk. Start running toward me. Yes, yes, yes. That's good. Slow down. So, how is it going? Well, I hope uh, we can continue like this. <laughs> yeah, that's it. If it's just... The idea is to control her head, control her teeth. Yes? When she is more distracted by this tactile stimulus, she will pay attention to this one. In a form of coping, coping, okay, adapting to the situation, she will do whatever she has to do to, to do not be controlled from here. And she will change the attention from you, just running. Being the running mode, but not in a hunting mode, okay? And then this you will reward. This you will uh, encourage with slowing down, calming her down in this way, and then treat her. Or doing uh, running, and she's uh, running beside you, not chasing you and trying to bite you, you're going to have a treat and give her a treat. Okay, step by step, she will run with you, okay, without trying to bite you, but expecting a treat from you, a reward, okay? You're going to give her or not, but when you slow down, she will calm down, more than being excited in, in the running move, okay? <clears throat> but you need to practice. First of all, you have to assure the tactile communication with the dog. You have the leash. People with kids have their kids' hands, okay? And use it to control the, their uh, speed or their movement, okay? To guide them in an efficient, more efficient way, okay? You need this with this uh, puppy, okay? Let's try again. will be effective in a, let's say, a real situation, because this is a provoked situation. Okay, so real situation is to, to, to have a running, a jogging, uh, okay? So, try a jogging around until no, here. No, real situation is leash. that uh, I just uh, stand in the middle of the field yeah. and just let her off the leash. Yes, but your level That's is on problem. the leash. Yes, yes okay. that's the okay. problem. Your le level is on the leash. Okay. You also can... Play with her as you want, but having the leash. Okay, okay. Yeah, to stop her when you want, okay. with a verbal signal and then using the tactile communication through the leash. Ah, she okay. stops, is okay, you, you can start no, no, playing again. The leash. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try a jogging around okay. until here. Hi there. Not very speed, but normally. So, didn't even try. yes, that's it. Let's try without the leash. Just run, no, let the leash down and just run until there and back. Slowly, slowly. Take the leash again, take the leash again and do it again. So, do it again. Go back. Just go back. Take the leash again. Take the leash again. Keep it keep it in your hand. That's it. You can keep it in your hand for this time, okay? <clears throat>
Hold it and go back again in running. The same, yes. Shorter, get get the leash shorter, yes. That's it. And run. Let the leash down, running. That's it. Go run over there. Look. Go, 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 go. Slow down. And come back. Yes, that's it. Very good. Slow down and that's it. You can praise her a little, uh, a little calmer. Okay? Calmer. That's it. So? Oh, she's amazing. You, you need the leash or not? Ah. Uh. Well, if it's just about the leash, then it's amazing. You cannot educate a kid without holding him by the hand. It's exactly with the dogs. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah. So, the same thing I need for her picking up the food on the floor. Yeah, you're gonna, <clears throat> first of all, you're gonna step on the leash, okay? And then, you're gonna take the leash and hold it up there until she loses uh, oh, okay. uh, the the force. Uh, oh, okay, because now I'm in. Yes, no. In this way, you you come into an, a, con a conflict, uh, a conflict with uh, the dog, and can bite you to make you uh, go away because the resource is in her control. And you, you, you will not, you will not, um, how to say, respect the law, mm -hmm. their law. If I have the resource, nobody comes and access it, okay? You need to, to think in their logic, not in my, ours, okay? In the human logic. They they will not understand our human logic, so you need to understand their logic and to do things in their way. So you're gonna you're gonna have a, a good dog and balanced who will keep trusting you, okay? And also she will play with you when you want, but she will know when to stop, okay? So uh, as a recapitulation. So when you run and uh, you don't have her in the leash, mm -hmm. it's good to have a leash like this uh, uh -huh, attached okay. by her collar, okay? When you run and she's trying to do things like you, you noticed, you're going to take the leash and hold her a little bit. If she's continued to do this, this means you need the leash to hold in your hand. Okay, so you're gonna keep the leash to uh, hold it in your hand and continue running, controlling her access to you. Okay, and then if you have treats to you, you're gonna give her treats when you see the best moment as you uh, uh, reach for it. Okay, so what do you do? What are you saying? I mean. I'm, I'm super happy because I cannot handle it anymore. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's way too painful. So, it's amazing. I mean, I knew that. Uh, I just didn't know if we are going to do it uh, in one session or more because I didn't know what is the cause. You know? She's very, very cute. She's very, very good dog. Look at her uh, staying yeah, beside you. Very okay. Good nature. But yeah. you conditioned her to, to this moment. Now you can. Decondition her, okay? <laughs> you need to decondition her, okay? Okay, to, to have a different conditioning for this moment. And you, you need to talk on uh, her language, tactile language, okay? Then you're gonna do it. Associate verbal cues to, to, with uh, this uh, handling to make her to understand from the beginning what the verbal cues means and calm her down. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. So many people is waiting me today after... After, after this evaluation? Lunch. Yes, because everyone had a theory. 
yes i know i know uh, there are a lot of theories but uh, the the reality of dogs is the same okay you cannot communicate with them through telepathy mm -hmm. through the sun energy uh, through uh, the power of uh, mind of okay? k you need to communicate with them on their language tactile language is the only one okay that's it amazing thank you so much you're welcome